Hey guys, Coach Daniel Hammer at Tennis, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at you how you can feel the leverage and get a kind of a feel for the leverage action of the wrist and the arm in the stroke. And so, we've had a lot of good questions and comments around the hammer behind Hammer at Tennis in that video. And if you haven't checked out the how to hammer the ball, make sure to click on the card up here in the corner, and that's going to show you how you can hammer the ball. And in that video, we talk about using the leverage of the racket and the leverage of the arm in the shot. And so we use this drill a lot to help us kind of develop a feel for how the wrist and the arm engage and do to uh, produce this leverage in our shot. And so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get into our hammer stance and we're going to get lined up with the net strap so that the net strap is directly in the center of our spine. So it's going to be in line with your belly button and your feet are going to be at a 45 degree angle. And you want to have it so that when you turn, line yourself up so that your racket meets the net strap and it's right in the center of the racket. And so then what you're going to do is you're going to take the ball and you're going to put it on the right leg up against the net strap and the, um, the net cord there and you're going to trap the ball and you're going to pin the ball there with your racket. So you're in your stance, my elbow is down and kind of pointing to the inside and I'm pressing this ball against the net. And then from this position, notice too how as I do this, my, I can feel like I'm pressing and I'm prying against that ball. And so in one motion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick the ball as far as I can. I'm going to try to get it to go past the service line and stay in line with the center, the center service line. So I'm going to go something like this. Now what you may notice the first couple times you do it is that the ball doesn't go very far. Or you might notice that the ball goes to the right or the ball goes to the left. And so as you're doing this drill, again, it's important to feel, and you're going to feel this leverage, you're going to feel it engage right here in this kind of trigger area, this forefinger of your hand. And so we'll talk more about grips later, but your pinky and your pointer finger there, they, and with your thumb, these are kind of the three spots that lock in your racket. You know, and so in some of the other drills, if you watch the mini series, we talk about pulling the racket, and so that engages more of your pinky, but then as you hit the ball, you should feel the pressure kind of transition across your hand and then you're going to feel the energy release through your pointer finger, your index finger there. So trap the ball against the net, kind of press, feel that press in your arm and feel it in there. And so again, this is a little exaggerated, you know, and so as we're doing our stroke, everything's happening simultaneously. but. This is for you to kind of feel how the arm and the wrist move. Notice again how my hand initially is out in front of the ball. And then I'm going to launch the ball forward. And so by doing this, you're going to feel how the racket pries the ball. If the ball goes to the right too much, then you need to continue to turn your shoulders more to the left. If the ball goes too far to the left, then you need to make sure that you're extending out to the right more. And so try it a couple times and see if you can get the ball to go straight down the service line and past the service line. So as you're doing this drill, you may notice that the ball goes to the right, it may go straight, it may go to the left. It's better for the ball to go to the right or to go straight in line with the service line than it is to go to the left. And so a lot of you, if you're not using leverage, then your racket's going straight up. It's going to want to go this way and it's going to want to go to the left. So if the ball is going to the left of the service line, you know that you're not engaging the racket into the shot properly. And so notice as I do this, as I'm applying the leverage, the racket flattens out relative to the court and it kind of pivots over the ball. Notice too that my forearm 
comes out. So my elbow comes out. So as I swing, my arm, it's almost like I'm reaching through like a tube or through like a hoop towards the target. So my arm comes in and then it goes out as I hit. And so I'm releasing that angular momentum into the shot and I'm releasing that energy into the shot. And so by doing that, it also helps keep my racket on target. And so the bracket has to go out like this. And you notice that's where that leverage is coming in. And as my forearm is kicking out, it's creating a fulcrum point, which is also making my forearm act like a lever. And so as I'm swinging through the shot and through the contact point, my arm is working toward the target. And so, again, this is a good drill. Get your arm locked in here. Press the ball against the net. And learn how you can pry the ball toward the target. So now as I'm practicing my shot, when I line up here, I'm going to line up with the tee there. And so I'm going to make sure that I'm extending out down that line. And I'm going to engage my hand into the shot. And so notice I'm hitting a little harder now. And so as we were practicing before in a hammer video, we're going to drop and hit from the service line. But now I'm going to a little harder. And again, I'm going to swing out towards the right. Because as I'm turning, my shoulder is going to bring the racket to the left. But I'm going to feel that press, that pry into the shot. And so as I do that, I'm going to start to develop a better feel for how that leverage is acting during my forehand. And that's going to help you to hammer the ball.